What's up? This is uh, Tarek here from SmartBuyTrainers.com. Okay, Zwift sent out a survey last week to a select number of users and invited them to participate by answering a few questions around hypothetical Zwift features and to gather their thoughts about different cycling apps out there and different membership models. I did not get the survey myself, so I don't know the full details of every question, but this is very typical of companies to do things like this. It helps them gather information about the market and their target customers like who they are, what they want, and their willingness to pay for certain features or products. Also, it keeps them ahead of the competition. Zwift also has a habit of giving us insight into things they are thinking about through these surveys. For example, in 2017, right before Zwift increased their price from $10 to $15, they sent out a survey with questions about pricing. Also, just last month, they sent out a survey with a fictional online store with supposedly a fictional smart bike that they later confirmed that they are actually working on and expect to be released possibly later this year. So with that in mind, there's one main thing in this latest survey that captured the internet's attention and I wanna talk about here in this video. This survey had a question about the interest in a premium membership with features that are geared mostly toward advanced training and would give you everything you need to train and cycle at your best from adaptive goal-based training plans to advanced analytics. So this caught my attention. One thing you know about me, if you've been watching this channel for any period of time or follow me on social media is I tend to prefer structured training over social writing. So naturally, this caught my attention. The survey then goes on and lists what's included in your current app. And these are all features that you are familiar with already, such as virtual worlds, sim riding, access to races and group rides, meetup and riding with friends, and access to cycling workouts. Then there's this new premium membership, which they state includes the ability to manage workouts all in one place with an adaptive training calendar, custom adaptive training plans, daily AI powered workouts recommendations, automatic FTP detection, and the ability to take workouts outdoor on a Garmin or Wahoo head unit. Then the survey asks if you would be willing to pay 20 pounds per month for the new premium package, which is equivalent to $27. That's about $12 more than the current Zwift membership. Okay. So that's a loaded amount of features. When thinking of adaptive training and daily AI power type workout recommendations, there are two popular companies that come to mind that are already doing this right now. One is TrainerRoad. TrainerRoad uses machine learning to create a custom plan, recommend workouts, and adapts their workout recommendations based on your past performance, feedback, and goals you set. Exert is another smart app that takes your performance data and does a deep dive analysis, recommends workouts for the day, and make adjustments to your workouts in real time. They also automatically detect and estimate your FTP without requiring you to test. Now, these two companies basically already do part, if not all of what Zwift wants to offer in their hypothetical Zwift premium package. And it took these companies years to get to that point. For example, it took Trainer Road, I think over a year to introduce outdoor workouts and took them years to fine tune their training plans and training calendar, and they are still doing that. And just recently, their adaptive training system became available to the public after years of research, development, and testing. Wahoo System is another strong app and a popular app that pride itself with workouts and good training plans, but until now, they haven't been able to put together an adaptive training system because this stuff is very hard to get right. With that said, it makes me wonder if Zwift will be able to pull this off at least any time in the near future. As they say, once past behavior is the biggest predictor of future behavior and historically Zwift hasn't been the quickest at releasing new features to their platform. Also, it doesn't look like this was on their roadmap based on some of the things they discussed and showcased last fall. As a matter of fact, some of the features they showcase are already behind schedule. And this isn't the first time Zwift toys with the idea of price increase by offering different membership tiers uh, either. 
uh, in the summer of 2020, Zwift sent out a survey suggesting three different membership packages and prices as high as $45 per month. No mention of adaptive training or AI-powered workout recommendation in that survey. Instead, they called it coach designed and tailored training plans. So clearly Zwift has been thinking of revamping their training plans in some capacity. But again, this makes me wonder, is Zwift really considering introducing these features? Or are they throwing these type of surveys out to feel out how users react to a price increase? Or maybe both. Zwift hasn't revised their prices since 2017. Think about that. Since 2017, we've seen almost every app out there raise their prices in the past four years. Trainer Road alone raised their price twice in less than a year. But assuming Zwift really wants to target the self-coach athletes and improve their training plans with adaptive training and AI workout recommendations, probably the fastest way to get them there is by making some kind of an acquisition. Can they do it in-house? Absolutely. I have no doubt they can pull this off, but that's going to be a very long road, no pun intended, to get them to a place where they can come out and say, hey, we have these features and we want to charge you for them. Eric Men, Zwift CEO, has shown an interest in Exert in the past. He has used it and even shown that in his Strava uploads. Could Exert be a possible acquisition? Possibly. They could also look into Trainer Road or even another lesser known smaller company called velopro.bike that sort of already does a lot of the things that Zwift listed and makes the most sense to me if Zwift is looking to acquire the technology itself. But even if they acquire Exert or Velopro, their algorithm only targets cyclists, so triathletes and runners will be left out. But even with the acquisition, they still need to integrate the company and software, which can take a while too. As much as I would love for Zwift to offer these new features as I would use them myself, my guess here is Zwift is just testing the water to raise their prices while collecting ideas for ways down the road. A new interface is coming with new features and they are also working on the user's ability to create clubs. So it won't surprise me if they come out and raise prices after these are all released. I wish I had a crystal ball to see what's coming, but I wanna hear from you. What do you make of all of this? Would you use a premium membership like Zwift described? How much more would you be willing to pay for your Zwift membership? Let's chat in the comments. Okay, hope you find this video helpful. Remember to hit the like button. It helps the channel and the video quite a bit and I appreciate it. And if you are still watching and have not subscribed yet, then you know what to do. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.